Hi and welcome. This is Elena with the Angel Messages with Elena as I'm dropping cards all over. <laughs> I want to thank you for joining me and um, my dog Prince in the background. They have been photobombing me all day today. I am, This is I think my fifth video today so I'm kind of glad to get stuff caught up until uh, my birthday next week. So I'm excited about that and um, I did Oak Island reading. I did the I did one for my other page uh, about Santa Claus, and that will be in the December playlist. Uh, what else? Charles Dickens' A Christmas Story for the twenty third. So so many, and now I'm doing the waxing of the moon from December 29th to January 7th. I mean, I'm really getting out there and getting ahead because I want to start recording my daily Capricorn readings and um, get the, starting to get those uploaded as well. So I'm excited. It's like the countdown is like trying to, you know, get all everything going. So I want to thank you for all of my new subscribers and my family that has been with me from the start. Um, 2019 has been really fabulous. Uh, it's been really hard and difficult because I tell you, um, I've been in financial, uh, uh restraint for, uh, all this year, but you know, definitely for the decade of 20, um, the twenties, tens, tens through the 19th. So I'm looking forward to a new decade. And if you're a Capricorn, it's going to get better. If you have a Capricorn anywhere in your sign, go and look to see where it's at because those areas is going to get better for you. Much better. <clears throat> so the energy that I'm kind of feeling is like this is after Christmas. We celebrated the solstice. Light is coming Um is getting lighter in some places. It will be a little bit colder, um, but I kind of feel like, I don't know, I just want to laugh. And this is like part of the, the waxing of the moon. Now the new moon was about making your list again, is about bringing in a, your harvest. And now we're kind of going, you know what? Everything has been planned and all I have to do is just, you know, pray and the, do the manifest, which is thought and intention. So it really doesn't have to uh, work so hard now. It's like everything that you learned in 2019 is bringing you in into this really beautiful foundation for 2020. So I'm really excited about that for all of you as well. All right. So I'm using the the archangel power tarot cards and i'll have the link down below if you want to purchase these through via amazon this is um bradley valentine's 78 card deck so we are gonna start pulling cards now i do pull cards to the directions and we're gonna pull cards from uh, the one four three two so the north west south east and I've been doing that for all of the Moon Phases readings, um, and it's been working out really well. So what do you want us to know for the waxing of the moon? I'm just going to do three cards and for each of the, the directions. I just kind of feel like threes is going to be really powerful even into the, you know, because it's about family. Three is about the oil. Three is about um, God in the triune. Um, angels and angel guides as our families. It's, it's something that is coming in that is bringing in um, intimate relations. Okay. So it's just like all of this kindred spirits to be brought in. Kindred spirits to other people as well. Um, you know, we're igniting our spiritual gifts. So yeah, there's a lot of beautiful things going on. So on the four side, which is the West side, this is about our external influences that has this internal intimate influence uh, that we bring into our families. So the first one is the three of Michael. The three of Michael is 
releasing the past and you will grow from this situation time heals all wounds right so we're still releasing things from the new moon energies are still coming in so when we release things and this could not, uh, does not have to be an immediate family this is external forces so in your workforce in the college and, and you know when you were in school and your classmates so um this is government is like there's things that are going on in our government that's just like <laughs> We're releasing that in Jesus name. <laughs> so it's just like we're releasing that. Um, yeah, so this is a great time um, uh, for healing. So the healing starts now and going into the full moon. And then our next card is the nine of Raphael. It's a genie. Genie with a lamp. And it's on the beach. And look, it has a loyal friend of a black and white dog. So a loyal friend is standing next to you. Um, and it would be on the right side. So the right side is the things that we believe in, we have trust in. The west side is also about things that are manifesting, manifesting and coming into our physical reality. So it says, um, make a wish your dreams are coming true. Um, it's a joyful time of life. Okay, so this is very magical. Nine is about completion that... Um, yeah, you're making your wishes, you're manifesting for these beautiful things to come through, and they're coming into your physical reality. Our next card is the Queen of Ariel. Isn't that beautiful? I really love these cards. Um, it's about being mature, practical, generous, and happy. Nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful. Practical and wise and why uh, practical and wise advice sorry about that all right so it's like taking something and making it more pretty right so if you have you know don't use makeup it's adding makeup it's taking a basic picture um so i do have one of my paintings here so it's like um adding something in here um to make it even more beautiful so you know i could add some things here or over here into the you know adding more white to this light and making it more beautiful that's what that means it's just taking something um or restoring something and to it um and being be more beautiful and how we refurbish furniture so that could be uh something that you're doing as well so this is bringing maturity, it's bringing generosity and happiness into your life when you do that because it's creative. And I mean, I, I can see this really going on, not just in your body because four is about order in our body, but that is bringing the order into, you know, like a club or into a group that you're working with as well. All right, so now we're coming in the south side, which is about our immediate family. This is um, husband, wife, and children. There's a husband, wife, um, in the center of God and love. This is the foundation of divine masculine to divine feminine. So the Ten of Raphael, we have a beautiful family. So, so perfect. See, and then right here in the back is Raphael. He's the guardian and he is, uh, he helps with a healing and he has helped a lot in my own life as well. So it's like love and blessings fill your life harmonious relationships with family members and a happily ever after. So this is bringing in to what you have been desiring the most, that this is the most happiest and probably that you have ever dealt with. You, um, you know, the things that you had to let go, the things that you had to talk with family and uh, getting through the new year is just like all of this beautiful things is adding and it's just, you know, it's just fun and I, you can enjoy yourself and you're finally finding that balance between your know, home and through the outside forces, um, such as work and your other obligations. So then we come into the number nine card, which is epiphany. These are thoughts and things that comes in out of nowhere that see the dogs behind me <laughs> out of nowhere. So the epiphany of Archangel Raziel is joy through spiritual growth, be light to others, answers that come through meditation. So um, spend some time into meditating uh, during this season as well, um, into this new year, 2020. Woohoo! So yeah, there's going to be a lot of 
uh, spiritual growth. And it's just like, it's going to feel like, oh, yeah, weights of my shoulders are like gone. It's like you finally have been able to just release that stress so that you can really get joy and happiness to flow within you. Then we have the five of Ariel. And she forms right underneath the five here. So five is about transformation. When you see fives as well, it could be a monetary value, no matter if you paid for something or not. Um, it could be in money or it could just be a value of something. Um, the other thing is emotions and keeping your emotions even and keel. So you have joy. So it says that you needn't go through your current challenges alone. All right. So you're, you're asking for help from your family members that your help is nearby, right? You, sometimes we just got to ask and remember the negative thoughts that we put out there is bringing us, um, self, what do they call that? <laughs> yeah. Self-fulfilling prophecies because you can't be negative because negative things will come. So think positive and be positive and just have that ooze out of you because joy will come. And those doors are opening and it's already, I mean, it showed in your first cards, this happy family and living happily ever after. So trust in that. All right. So into the East side, we are talking about, um, the, the not family, but individual woman, divine mother, D um, the divine feminine energy, uh, this is mother, daughter, sister, child, grandmothers. This is the stone, the, yeah, the stone that makes the house because our house is also our bodies and the church. So the church is not on number four because it's not talking about the church that you go out. This is talking about the church as the body. Okay, the body, you, the body. So it's the 10, the wheel, new beginnings, end of delays. Yay! It's like everything that you trusted and believed on, you know, the things that you wish for, things that are coming from our ancestors that hoped and prayed for, is like all of these things are coming. It's like this is a change in a direction that offers happiness. So it's bringing this change, it's bringing um, probably travel, Travel for you to get a massage and do some self-care in this as well. Um, Jeremiah is the archangel in this. Um, this is a, a water wheel as well. So this is not just a any kind of wheel that's taking you travel, but it's bringing water in. So um, baths and showers, that water is coming in. All right, so we have a card that is upside down, and it's the five of Michael. So there's look at that. We'll look at it upright so you know what card that this is. All right. So it's is that okay? So in reverse, this is upright. This situation doesn't serve you. So in reverse is like you're finally in a situation that is serving you. Okay. Release your attachment to the outcome. So you release that out that uh, attachment until the outcome is coming. It says to take more of an uplifting approach. So stay uplifted. All right, <laughs> still and maintain that course, and because it's all can continue to give you joy. All right. And then we have the five of Gabriel upright. And again, fives is about transformation, about the monetary value coming in, uh, even emotions. This is a woman who is putting a puzzle together. So she, all the missing pieces is coming. So it's a challenge that you can resolve. Withdraw from the drama of others. Have patience with yourself and those around you. You know, that is so true because... It does take time. I mean, I've been working on myself consistently for eight years. And I know in six weeks, I got lots of healing. But you know what? I had to still change behaviors. I had to still change how I was living um, as far as, you know, consistently 
cleansing myself and anointing myself with oil each and every day. I did that for you know several years. Now it's not so much I have to do that anymore. But it's, that's called the sanctification um, where you go through the cleansing and anoint yourself to God. That is sanctification that I give myself to God each and every time. And now I don't have to do that because now it's just part of me. It's just like... And it takes a while for those things and changes to happen. So don't, I mean, we're past December 24th where that could have happened just like that. Okay. So now you're going to have to do some work and, and have patience. You know, you're gathering all the pieces. Things will start making more sense even towards uh, the end of 2020. I want, I'm going to put into the end of this video a link to take you to the, my 2020 predictions because that's going to help you as well It's a general reading and then we'll uh, start doing the January readings and the January reading and every monthly reading will be recorded on mp3 so you can listen to that all the time and that is my gift for you to go into 2020. Now we're coming into the north the north is a star but it's a, a person of leadership and a, a teacher and it's about being balanced within ourselves and <laughs> guess what our first card is it's the star, <laughs> which is a 17 card that comes into the eight. <clears throat> Sorry. And um, there's an abundance that happens in this time. And this is Archangel Jophiel. It's a dream come true. So believe in yourself, the end of a difficult situation. So this is like the second time that it says that this is, you know, passing. So yeah, you're going, yeah, you're going to feel like so less stressed. And I think that's where that joy really comes in is just like, yeah, I can actually oh, take a deep breath. I can actually say things and people are not getting on my case. And so there's a lot of communication that is opening up as well. That's joining people together. So the Empress is the Archangel Gabriel. She comes in as a three card. So three, remember I chose all three cards for our reading today. So then we got 12 and then we have the three. So that's a 15. So it's time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded, more, bleh, rewarded. luxuries are abundant resources. So these um, resources are coming to you that things are working out. Um, the Empress, yeah, it's like this is the time to do, make your plans um manifestations like i had said now the other thing that it really comes into play is your action could also be as simply as lighting a candle and if you had difficult times do a saint jude one or you can um uh do a candle reading with me and i will work with your candle with you um but i will burn it for you it is for those who have gone through difficult or desperate times. So you want to have a candle that cleanses everything that has happened in 2019 and bring in all this new stuff. So this is an action. Okay. Lighting a candle is an action. Working and praying over your candle, asking God, your angels, your guides to put that into place. That is an action as well. We light candles as an offering to God um, and to our angels and spirit guides to open that up for us. So it's working with the spiritual world, which is part of that balance. Um, in order for, you know, the things that we hope for comes into reality, we have to do that action. And then our last card is the page of Ariel. And I like how she's holding her own guide on. This is reliable, clever, educated, and balanced. See, I love how this is just sinking. An excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Scholarships are the pursuit of education. Time to get to work. So you have two action cards like bing bing. <laughs> it's like it's time to do the work because it's coming. Whatever you've been hoping for and you know all of these um, beautiful things are being offered to you. This is the second time that it's like all of these resources are opening up to you. So don't turn them down. You know instead it's just like take a look at the ones that are coming if they're coming in consistently i mean hey if you're doing a work and you're doing readings or if you're doing art i mean don't turn down the work just let me know how long it's going to take for you to and you'll do that if you're doing something like in different projects in your company i mean i would take a look at everything and see which one um my heart is in it 
right and so follow your hearts and what is going to go don't just go into this oh this is going to have a big payoff because something you put your heart in that will have a bigger payoff because the heartfelt things are felt by the world and the world are led to those things and so that one that costs a lot of money because trust me <laughs> i will do the heartfelt things versus the one that costs a lot of money I mean, that's just me though. So yeah, this is about being educated and the balancing. So to balance it out, this is scholarships and the pursuit of education as well. So this could be like the scholarship to go to a school, uh, whatever, you know, that you're learning. This is, um, let me look into these cards again, to spiritual growth and your relationships so you know and this could also be something that is opening up that you can share with other people because right we are teachers and we're educators as well um yet yeah, leaders and teachers so this could be an opportunity to even start your own ministry to help other people to finally get them aligned into their family and that they can get their happily ever after because that is directly below the one is the three so we have the 13 that is coming in right now so yeah there's a lot of many different opportunities uh, I told you it was going to be kind of fun. <laughs> it's going to be really fun these nine days. So enjoy yourself and get out there and put yourself out there. Um, take some time to do some self-care though and stay in the joy and the present. Uh, enjoy your families. Take time to spend with them. Take time to smell those roses. Stay in the present because all these beautiful things are you know, what is bringing in for your manifestations. And they can come quickly. We're in 2020 that if you've been following me and doing the manifestations every day as far as the walk through the days of the week, um, they will start coming a lot more. So thank you for joining me. Please be, um, feel free to hit that bell down below. Hit it again to get all of my videos. Leave me some hearts or a comment. It's like, what do you hope for for January 2020? So excited. <laughs> it's like, yeah, uh, all these things that I've been working on is like the fruits of our labor is finally, um, we're finally going to get something tangible from it. It's not just spiritual, but tangible. So I'm excited about that and um, for my children as well, because this is all for the children. So thank you again. And I uh, share my video. Uh, share it on YouTube, do a screenshot and put it on Instagram. And don't forget to tag me as Elena Roslin in it. And I will make sure to make a mention for you as well. So thank you for joining me. We'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.